So following my uh, blog article on the Office 2016 click to run installer, I've had a few emails about installing Skype for Business on its own. Um, so for example, if you've got an E1 Office 365 plan and you want to install the Skype for Business basic client, well, we can achieve exactly the same thing. So let's quickly run through the process. So first things first, you need to download the Office 2016 deployment tool, okay? I've already downloaded it and when you run it, it asks you to extract it to a directory. So I, I've already done that. So here it is. OK, now the important bit is that we need to modify this configuration file. And if we open it up and have a look. There we go. The important bits are we need to modify the product ID first. Now, the product ID tells the click to run installer what product we're trying to install now. If you have a look on the blog, I've included a, a link to an article which displays all the different product types. But the one we're interested in, we're going to go for the Skype for Business Entry Retail, which is that one, the Skype for Business Basic 2016. OK, so what I'm going to do in this configuration is find my configuration file. I'm going to change that to Skype for Business entry retail okay now the other thing you'll see is this unit also has another product in the configuration file which is a Visio Pro retail so I'm just going to delete that as well okay there we go so let's save that file okay so the first thing we need to do then is actually download the source files now the way we do that it's pretty easy pop into a command prompt there we go we're going to go into my office 2016 deployment tool directory and we're going to run up uh, run the setup with the download parameter and then specify the configuration.xml file now what it's going to do is wander off and start to download the office uh, files you can see there that office has just appeared in that directory so what we'll do is we'll let this run and then come back to it when it's finished because it can take a little while to download Okay, so you can see that that's finished now. And if we have a look, you'll see there's an office file in that directory now. So let's have a look. It's quite big, 1.1 gig, so it's a full office install. So what I'm gonna do now is just share this folder so we can get it on my test machine. I'm not gonna go through the whole sharing thing, but uh, I'm just gonna share it. In fact, I already have, it's Office 2016 DT. Um, and everyone's got full control for now. Obviously you wouldn't do that in a, a proper, set up um, but what I'm going to do is just jump across to my test machine here which is a Windows 7 I'm just going to run a command prompt and what I'm going to do is just map a drive across to that machine there we go and you'll see our setup files in there and our configuration XML. So what I'm going to do is just run it. This time, instead of download, download, I'm going to use configure. There we go. And I'm going to specify the XML. Okay. And there we go. The office install starts. So what we'll do is we'll let that finish and we'll just have a look at the end of it. And there we go. We can see that it's all finished. So what we should be able to do now is close and we should now have the Skype for Business 2016 basic client. There you go. There are some um, kind of first run experiences uh, that you can control. Um, a couple of registry entries controls those, so perhaps I'll include those. But I think you can see it is actually pretty easy. Getting getting the hang of that configuration.xml, it really does make your life easier trying to work out how these um, click to run installers work. Um, the other thing I probably want to mention is you see there that we've run this from a map drive. What you may want to do is actually include the path to the UNC share for where you want the um, source code to go. If you have a look in the blog article, it explains how to do all that. Um, but yeah, anyway, there we go.